Hey everybody, Liz Page here. I know a lot of you guys are probably curious about how Lightroom and On One Raw are gonna work together. So I wanna walk you guys through a workflow here to take this image, remove the background, add some adjustments, and then potentially resize it for a client. And one of the things I wanna make sure you guys take a look at is the speed and accessibility that you have access to. A lot of times you'd be waiting for your images to go from module to module and then back and forth between Lightroom and On One, and that is pretty much gone. It's gonna go so much quicker than it used to. So let me walk you guys through how to do all of this and how quick it's gonna be. So I've got my image open in Lightroom. I've made a couple of adjustments, but not much. And I'm going to go up to my file menu, plug in extras, and we're going to start out in layers because I want to remove that background. It'll pop my photo open here. And on the left hand side, I actually already have the on one extras open. And these are all the skies I can access that automatically come with on one when you get it. I'm going to double click on a cloudy sky that I want to use and select the option add as layer. Now when you're working with layers to move them around, you can choose our move tool and make sure that you hold down the shift key to constrain the proportions of that sky. Sometimes it can get a little wonky if you don't hold down the shift key there. So we're going to size this and move it into place. I can rotate it a little bit if I want. It doesn't have to be exact and I'll go ahead and hit the apply button once I'm done and click and drag it underneath my photo. Now to remove the background that I don't like, I'm going to use my quick mask tool to start out with. Just click and drag across that background. It's going to remove 95% of it. And then I'm going to clean up the edge with my refine brush along the top of the roof here, which is almost all the way there. And then the last tool that I absolutely love is my chisel tool. This just chisels away the last little edge of pixels there, and it's going to clean up that line so it blends a lot nicer with my new background. So this is already starting to look pretty good. Now, the best part about working inside of layers is that I have access to both of these images separately. So I need to blur my sky just a little bit and maybe make some adjustments so that it matches with my photo better. So I can do that just by selecting the layer I want. And let's go ahead and let's jump into effects. Now there's no waiting time here. If you're watching this in real time, it's going so quickly. So that's really awesome. I'm gonna click to add a filter and we're gonna choose lens blur here. We wanna add a soft amount of blur to the background, not too much. And then what's awesome about lens blur is I can actually add brightness and contrast here. So I don't need to add another filter. I can literally just leave it at that, which is really cool. And then once I'm finished inside of effects, just click done and it'll send me right back into layers. Now, there's a lot of different ways that we can move forward here. One of my favorites is by selecting the top layer in your layer stack, going up to the layer dropdown menu and choosing new stamped layer. What that does is it merges my two images together and creates one awesome layer, which is really helpful. All right, so now that I've got this photo ready to edit as a whole, let's say I wanna add kind of a vintage styling to it. I'm gonna select my new layer, and let's go ahead and jump into effects one more time. I can use the presets on the left-hand side as kind of a starting point, which is really nice. We've got a ton of preset folders, as well as ones that you can create yourself, which is super useful. I'm gonna go ahead and select one of the ones that I know I absolutely love to use. And we'll choose kind of a matte styling here. It's a little dark, so if I want to make adjustments, I can do that on the right-hand side with all of the different filters that have been applied. This is one of my favorite things because I can go through, and with all of them expanded like this, I can just make a quick edit, like increase the photo filter, which is that green filter applied. Let's jump into the tone enhancer and lighten the image up just a little bit. I'm not spending a lot of time having to open and close filters. They're all just right here. Now I can jump from module to module without having to go back into layers too. So here inside of effects, I can go right into resize, and I can make adjustments here as well. So up in the top right hand corner, you'll see this is the document size of my image. If I want to, I can just 
choose a new size for my photo. And there's actually a preset drop down menu, which is one of my favorites here. This is really, really useful because these are a lot of sizes that you're going to see when you're getting your photos ready for print. Now, right now, this is about 11 by 14 ish, but I want to go up to 20 by 24. So I'll go ahead and select that option. I don't need to crop my image because it's the correct proportions. It did all of the work for me. I'm pretty much good to go. So from here, all I need to do is click done. So it's going to scale my image. It's going to get it ready for print for me because those adjustments in resize are pretty much done. And from here, I can go on and make more edits on my image inside of Lightroom. I can export it and I can get it ready for my client.